Various aircraft spotted at Area 51 in unprecedented satellite photos. Now, let me read a little bit of this article um, from the War Zone, The Drive, okay, written by Tyler Rogaway, a great reporter, by the way. Roughly eight years since its uh, construction began, the massive hangar located at the remote southern end of the Air, Air Force's clandestine flight test center at Groom Lake, better known as Area 51. We're all familiar with Area 51. Uh, has seemed to have had little to no activity based on commercial satellite photos and sporadic video taken by hikers from Tickaboo Peak, okay, dozens of miles away. There have never been more than a handful of vehicles nearby and nothing of significance in terms of buildings or just basically anything around this hangar, again, south of Groom Lake. Now, for the first time, satellite photos from Planet Labs, okay, now keep in mind, we're not talking about Google Maps or any type of Google satellites that are censored and edited and, you know, Photoshop. This is from Planet Lab, um, where they upload satellite photos on a regular basis. Uh, now we see this mysterious craft, okay, it goes on to say, satellite photos from Planet, Lab, uh, Planet Labs not only shows activity around the mysterious hangar, but uh, but the nature of that activity has never seen before an Exata Delta Wing aircraft parked at the Northern Apron. And I'm not going to read the whole article. I'll kind of paraphrase here. It goes on to talk about this weird clear hangar that this craft is in. And, um, you know, I have a theory on, on what we might be looking at. And another, you know, little, little tidbit of info here. It was uh, the photo from the satellite company, Planet Lab was taken on January 26th. It was there until the 28th, about 48 hours, and then it was gone. Okay, so again, this anomaly, this craft, this military, you know, top secret craft, whatever it may be, experimental craft drone, was only there for about 48 hours in a temporary hangar, and now it's gone. Okay, so let's have a look at the photos, and I'll kind of give you my opinion as to what I think we're looking at here. Now, at first, obviously, I saw this clear you know, uh, temporary hangar this this odd craft was in, I thought, well, why is it clear? It made me think of like back in World War II where they would put up these, you know, balloons basically of tanks and different things like that to fool the enemies, to make them, you know, to, to make it appear that their military was, you know, bigger than it was, right? I'm sure you guys have heard of this. If not, I'll put a picture up so you guys can uh, see what I'm talking about. I thought, okay, maybe it's that. Okay, but then I realized this is basically a hangar that I think is like halfway built okay you know you can see the the metal framework there you know shaped like an upside down u uh going over the craft you can see a door up at the front and then the clear you know tarp i guess over the top of it and then i think what they do after that is they put some type of canvas over the top of of that you know basically to weatherproof it you have the plastic weather barrier and then you put the you know the more permanent or semi-permanent canvas on top of that and it's it's a very you know common practice in the military so that's fine so we know it's a temporary hangar outside of this you know giant hangar located at area 51 it's, again been there about eight years um so okay i found that out another little tidbit of info here that i think is important to pass on to you guys uh you know i've discovered that area 51 or the employees there they know when these uh, satellites are, are going to pass by right they're, they're, they know exactly when they're going to come over and take their photos, whether it's Google Maps or Planet Labs or a military satellite or whoever. And a lot of people are saying, well, they put this aircraft out there on purpose because they knew, you know, that it would be photographed. So, again, you know, it could be... Uh, some disinformation, misinformation, a way to confuse the enemy, a way to troll us. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, look, they know what they're doing at Area 51. I mean, the guys that work there are incredibly smart, and it could be something like that. But what I think it is, if I'm being honest, okay, I think we're looking at some futuristic you know, tech from the military. Now, the question is, is it reversed alien technology or is this like a next gen fighter craft? Probably could be both. I think it's a hybrid. I mean, I, I think they're all hybrids like the TR-3Bs and things like that. I think what we're looking at here is a hybrid between a TR-3B and basically new military technology. Okay, now let's look at a few examples of what I believe, again, is this, you know, futuristic tech. You know, it could be related to the USS Nimitz, the Tic Tac craft. Um, right here, we're looking at Area 51. Um, you see these weird 
I don't know, UFOs come into frame, like always, okay? They come up, kind of make a U-turn, and, uh, you know, go back in, in, the, in the direction they came from. Now, in the middle of that, we have this weird craft kind of hovering above. Now, I want to say that's right above Groom Lake, <clears throat> if I have my facts right. But regardless, this is Area 51 we're looking at right now. Now, the video here, I think, is sped up a little bit, okay? So, again, I'm always honest with you guys. I don't want to oversell anything. I don't want to manipulate video or anything like that. Um, it could be sped up a little bit i don't know but regardless whether it's sped up or slowed down doesn't matter there's a ufo there and it is above you know um basically highly restricted airspace at area 51 so whatever it is it's not a commercial flight um you know nothing to that effect this is some type of military craft you know at, at minimum right uh and whatever the hell this giant ufo is in the middle i have absolutely no idea okay and i think it's fascinating how we can see these things like only through night vision right not with the naked eye so we'll continue right here now this is not a spacex rocket when i first saw this i thought well maybe you know it could be the falcon 9 you know going up to lower low earth orbit possibly but then i did a side by side comparison and you can clearly see it's not a spacex rocket Okay, moving forward, uh, right here, you see this anomaly come down from north to south, and then you'll see it make an immediate right-hand turn. I'll zoom in a little bit here uh, to give you guys a closer view. Uh, it can't be a bird, can't be a drone. The altitude is way too high. The maneuverability is, is just way too dramatic. Uh, you know, unless it's some, some type of, you know, drone without a human being inside because the inertia in there would crush you, right? You know, so whatever this is, uh, you know, it, it, again, it's probably something to do with the black budget military projects. And that's kind of been the focus of the channel lately because I think it's all connected. It's all tied together. When you look at TR-3Bs, the SR-71, Stealth, you know, going back to the 40s even, we're always 10, 15, even 20 years behind what the military you know tells us publicly right and which you know i kind of understand you, you know you don't want to show all your cards because ultimately their goal is to protect us but at the same time you know with the government things get messy and i think that um you know they're using some type of uh alien reverse technology you know that they have to be you know you look at roswell uh even rendlesham forest i mean there's a million examples here's another recent example right here from uh, jeremy corbell uh, the USS Nimitz, the Tic Tac. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So I think, again, these are hybrid crafts we're looking at.